the theme here is disruption and innovation. And disruption is a term we love dearly here in the Silicon Valley and the tech world. The tech industry likes it because they get to seem like bold visionaries changing the future rem remarkably and resetting everything and changing all the rules. And, but I'll bet in every case, you all have something <coughs> near to the problem you're attacking. As best you can, let's go down the line and think about something inside what you're doing where there's something nearby you wish would change, you wish would radically disrupt it. In your case, I'd, I'd go with consulting. Well, no, so. I'm, I'm not. I'm going to go give you a different one. <laughs> oh, OK. Because um, <laughs> there's a guy, there's a, some people, Vince Cerf and a guy named David Norforce are working on this. They want to disrupt unemployment. And I want to disrupt unemployment, too. Same more. Well, see, there's, a, there's an awful lot of talent in the, pl in the planet that's not getting used very well. And I think we've historically thought of employment as happening from large institutions working outward. I think in this new systems of engagement world, we may be able to create a significant number of jobs. And I expect Casey's part of, this, part of his world saying, no, you can create a second income from home. I think the Uber model as a driver, I think the Airbnb model is just the beginning of this possibility. I would like to disrupt unemployment. I well, in I a think sense, you're, you're talking about redefining what work is. Work isn't a thing you go to for a set number of hours. It's a continuous thing you partake. Uh, let me start with very, work is an income. And, and these people don't have an income. And it's not good. And if we don't fix it, we're going to have more of a divide. And that's going to be even worse. So I, I think it's a big deal. OK, go ahead. And I think what you're really, that sort of is a, a, a subcategory as we think about it of opportunity writ large. You talk about disruption, 70% plus of all venture capital in this country goes to three states, basically three cities, New York, Boston, San Francisco. You can't convince me that 70 plus percent of all the best ideas in America are in three metro areas. So if we're actually going to disrupt right, uh, uh, jobs and unemployment and opportunity, we're going to have to, and Steve Case is saying this right now, there are great arbitrage opportunities in the heart of the country. And he's gotten in a bus and he's driven around there and he's saying, you know, 10% of our fund every year is going to go to these folks. So I think, you know, folks are starting to do the work because they're seeing that this is not just a technological or business issue. These have deep and serious social and, and political implications that we're going to have to, from the business uh, mm -hmm. sector, uh, engage with. No? What do you want to Well, uh, I think we're, we're so focused on credit, but the, what's interesting about credit is uh, it touches everything else, right? It's, I think if you can fix uh, credit, you can, you can fix a number of other things. So what's the disruption away from your world that you wish would happen? So um, I, I think it's really uh, sort of everything uh, in, in sort of beyond credit that we can't handle yet, but there, there are so many other um, sort of areas of financial services uh, that also could be made more efficient. Uh, where you can take advantage of, of the sharing economy, you can take advantage mm -hmm. of, again, all this, that um, psychological change that happened since 2008 and made people more willing to sort of share things that belong mm -hmm. to them and share uh, and, and participate in the sharing economy and, and, and really sort of, um, sort of spur more uh, economic activity and more, more job creation. So credit is one of them, uh, insurance is another. Okay. Pat? And, you know, unfortunately, I've spent all my time right down here in the bowels of building infrastructure, right? right. You know, and to me, that's, I mean, I've always been there and, the, you know, not, not you, know, you know, the guy at the top of the stack, right, but always the guy building the infrastructure. And many years ago, I said my vision was is that I would develop a piece of technology that would touch every human on the planet and improve their quality of life in every modality of life. Right, work, learn, sleep, play, right, and everything. And it's this foundational infrastructure. You know, that's sort of what we do, and that's why I enjoy VMware. We're building that, right? And then we enable from that platform all of these other things to be changed and people to build on that platform on a global basis. You know, if I had to say the three things that I like to see disrupted on top of that right now, mm -hmm. right, you know, two of them are on stage here, right? Education, right, and finance, and the third would be healthcare. Right, those right. are the three to me that if we could change those aspects, we would see the substantive, most dramatic shift in the improvement in the quality of life right across the planet. Mm -hmm.